Um, at Legal and Human Rights Center, we started in 2010, dealing with the human rights and business. And we, well, we decided to concentrate on the issues of labor, land, environment, uh, environmental justice, gender issues, and also taxation, issues of taxation. And we had issues like um, consumer rights protection as well. And uh, for the first year, what we did, um, we started writing uh, a, a little bit, uh, a little book. Um, it's called the Corporate Social Responsibility Booklet. But we had um, in English on one side and uh, Kiswahili on another side. This, the purpose of this was to let Tanzania know that um, companies are obliged to respect human rights in business. And then we started a big report. This is actually the second, oh, it's the second report. It's called Human Rights and Business Tanzania. And this year, tomorrow, we're going to launch. We had several reports. But this year, tomorrow, we're going to launch this report on human rights and business in Tanzania. And we have advanced because in the first year, we went, um, we were looking, we were doing this work, trying to compare with what is going on the ground. And then the second year, we, we, we did like a kind of situation analysis. We went to the field. Throughout the years, we've been going to the field. We just take about more than 30 researchers. We take them to the different regions. So we take more than 15 regions. And when they get there, they start, they'll, be, they'll be having some questionnaires, focus group discussion. They're going to see the owners of the companies. Uh, they meet with different commit members. And then they, may, they meet also with the other uh, people who are uh, uh, academicians. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a lot of discussion with various groups of people. And uh, what we realized, Issues of violation of human rights, especially on the aspect of land, environment, uh, labor issues, and um, even uh, gender and consumer issues of tax uh, violation, which has been a very big problem in Tanzania. Last year, we realized in the report of Russia, you can see here, labor rights violation was taking a leap, actually. When you look at it, you realize about 80%, 85% of labor they were, were casual labor. They were not employed. So that means we denied some rights, which are very important rights. That means that we didn't have, um, they were not pensionable. They, I know, we really is most of the companies in Tanzania. And some of them, they know uh, issues of human rights and business, but they choose to know just because the government is not forcing it. Not, there, is, there is no enforcement of the laws. We have a very good employment and labor relation act. We got Tanzania Investment Act, the, the, the body which is supervising all the investors in Tanzania. We got a uh, mineral act. But what is happening? Because there is nobody to, to, to push them to abide to the laws, and then we realize that uh, the issues are has been, the violation has been really, really increasing day after day. And whenever we do the research, we realize there is a new issues which are happy, happening. Like um, what we did this year, you can find land grabbing has been in high ranking. Because what is happening, uh, most of the investors were coming, the government doesn't direct them, doesn't help them to acquire land in a proper way, according to the law. And what is happening, a lot of people are losing lands and fightings and a lot of frictions are happening within the community. Just because the land has been, people haven't been compensated, or oh, some of them they have been not fairly compensated, and some of them they have not been reallocated because the law provides that it should be reallocated, you know, fairly compensated, and the compensation business is a market value. Now, you find some people, the, the EIA, uh, the assessment actually, the, this assessment is being done this year, and then they're, being, they're going to be paid in five years' time, mm -hmm. and the, you're paying them in the late, which was ever five years ago. The dollars have you seen is going high in Tanzania now, the dollar, the dollar is going high, the money, the fluctuation of the currency is really, really high. So you can realize that a lot of people haven't got their, their fair, they haven't got the fair, they haven't been fairly compensated. But you find a lot of people also, some of them, especially uh, people who are working their, their ignorance of their rights, so the company are taking advantage of this. They just know that these people cannot do anything. And at the same time, you take into advantage that the company have cash, they're using money. So most of them, when they're affected, they cannot even afford to go to the court. We met some workers in, in, in Gator, where you, you find them you know, 
the way they were working in the angle board Ashanti. These guys were claiming that they've been affected by cyanide, the chemical you know, in their body, but they cannot go to, they, they cannot afford, hardly afford to go to the hospital because they don't have money. They were given a little money and they chucked away from the work, terminated and failed. So you find uh, issues of virus, by cup copyrights, especially I'm a research as well. We move when we move around the mining areas, we deal with community members. They're calling them the, the investment, the mining within their area. They are regarding is as a curse, not as a blessing, mm. because what they they are suffering a lot than getting a profit. Most of them are complaining of being there is uh, issues, incidents of complaints about rape. Some of them with dog biting, being beaten by security guards, and some of them being forcibly imprisoned. They're taken into jail from them, to imprison, to imprison. They're being imprisoned without even any reason. They stay there for a long period of time and the cage. They have no, no place to complain. And uh, these issues. We, when we went to Gaeta, we found these people, who were internal displaced people, the IDPPs, who were taken about more than five years ago from where the mining agro water shant is working, is Gaeta Gold Mining. They were they were relocated because they had to pave away for the investors. Mm -hmm. But what has happened? They were not given anything. They were dumped in the city. So you find there is a lot of challenge in Tanzania, especially in terms of land, labor, environment. And uh, we could like when you, when you go to the environmental issues, you find we got a very nice law, environment of the uh, the Environment Management Act, mm -hmm. very beautiful act. But there is a lot of violation in terms of the environment. Nobody is taking care of, of enforcing of enforcement of the law. We are lacking this body in Tanzania. We really need to have this body which can enforce laws, can supervise the enforcement of laws. Because it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense when you have a very good law, mm. but at the end of the day, it's not favoring, it's not working in favor of the people. Mm. And uh, another problem we are facing now is like most of the companies have a lot of cash. So you find yourself making a lot of noise, you know, trying to campaign, or, uh, trying to uh, urge them to respect human rights, to respect human rights in, in business and everything. But at the end of the day, they don't care because they got money, they can silence people, the witness, we, we, we've tried, when you, you open the case, and then the witness, they disappear because they tend, they tend to get them, to give them some money. If you witness about the case of African barrel case mining, the, the one which was in London, it was quite difficult to gather the evidence, to get the evidence. And the fact that the case went to London because they, within the jurisdiction we couldn't afford, we, we, we couldn't take because the case takes too long and, the and the, the, these people, um, some of them, they're so poor to go to the court because you need an advocate, you, get, you need people to support you. And we provide legal aid, but we're not all over the country. We have a branch in Arusha, and then we got here in the helicopter in Dar es Salaam, then we have Kinondoni, where we provide like, a, we have a legal aid credit. But people who need our help, they are quite many. It's quite difficult to cover them. And I, everybody wants to come to live in a human rights center, and we're quite few, and we're not everywhere. So, but we are supporting people almost all over the country because we've got more than 155 monitors who are reporting issues of violation of human rights in Tanzania daily. We got a, a, more, in more than 26 districts where we have paralegals. Some people we have trained them to become paralegals who are providing some support to their fellows who are being affected, caught up in a, in a, in a And now, what we have done so far with the uh, partnering with the ICA, International Corporate Accountability uh, from Rautem, and then um, we agreed up with the Shilai Commission for Human Rights and Good Governance. We are going to have a, a training, capacity building on development of NAP National Action Plan on Human Rights and Business, and this will take place on 13 to 16 of July. Now we believe when once we have a National Action Plan on Human Rights and Business, it will be a good start because we want the government to have a sense of ownership. On the, of the issues of human rights and business. What we did to make sure that a lot of people are getting to know the human rights and business, we had to have a lot of programs in the media, in, in TV, in radio, and then in the newspaper, we were trying to publish some articles almost weekly to make sure that these guys, are, a lot of people um, are, are learning and becoming aware on issues of human rights and business. That is a, it's a pawn, the company to respect human rights.
and it's, it's upon the government to protect. And access to women is the, the right. When there is a violation, then restoration and access to women should be part and parcel of their lives. Because now, when you look at them, at in Tanzania, a lot of people are being affected. But when it comes to the agreement co uh, compensation, it's not there because the company is trying. It will always find a way to run away from this. Yeah. So we, we we have been like meeting with we are meeting with different companies, trying to call them, and now we are preparing for a roundtable discussion with the company so that we can share with them our findings. That's always what we do when we find the findings. Now, every, most of the company have just tried to contact us before they start doing their investment. Like Start Oil, the one which is going to invest in oil and gas in Tuara. Actually, they came, we discussed, we gave them our advice, and one of them it was like, when you're trying to invest, then back down, no issues of human rights and business, but also, you're getting a, a, a license from the government, but you have to seek the license, social license from the community members because a lot of people are being killed as a result of having investment within the area. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are being harassed. Community members are suffering a lot just because of having investment in the areas. Their land is being grabbed and taken. Because having, we, we always tell the company, having good relationship with the community members, that is a security to your company. Because these guys are going to protect your company. Oh, no, it's, it's beneficial, right. but it also for you to respect human rights and business, and then it makes you on the safer side rather than fighting. Like in the mining, in the most of the mining areas where we have visited, we've realized most of the company, because they don't have a, a good relationship, they spend a lot of money because of for hiring secured guards. But if you have a good relationship, those guys they're gonna protect your mind. Yeah, now the most important thing, and that we are proud of, we have done so far actually. We have now translated the UN guiding principle into a user-friendly language of Kiswahili. You know, most of people in Tanzania speak Kiswahili, they don't speak English. So we have translated that, 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 that part of, of that UN guiding principle. And we believe from now on as governments, uh, NGOs, people from, um, from companies and people from different, different sections of the country, they're going to be aware of what is of what is UN guiding principle is saying of the issues of human rights and business. Because now we are having a problem when we are, we are training, we are having a media, we are having a TV programs, radio programs, uh, we are launching the reports. Some of them were asking, hey, what is human rights and business and everything? Now we are proud, we are happy that we are going to have a UN guided principle which will act as our role model. So we have translated no, in the UN guided principle into Kiswahili and it's going to be out at the end of this week. And uh, what makes me proud and I feel so happy that a lot of people are calling me to that I should send the copy to them. We had a meeting at the University of Dallas and I'm, a conference and I announced about having a UN guiding principle. And everyone was like, I want the copy, I want the copy. Because we, have, we, had, we were having uh, voices of the people from the grassroots who are giving us their suffering in the presence of him, um, investment in their areas. A lot of people were crying about suffering they're having within their area, within their areas of where the investment is, is, is centered. So from next week, we'll be posting the UN Guiding Principle freely. We have published so far more than 500 copies and we're going to add more. And we provide, we make sure that all over the country where there is investment, the copies are going to be distributed freely. And now Commission for Human Rights and Good Governance, their colleague, we've been working so closely, we're going to give them some copies. Mm. So that is really good news and we are really happy. Human rights and business now is in Tanzania. Yeah.